Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, try it out on your own, and then press play. Resume the video, give it a shot, and uh, we'll try it together. All right, so we're told here that a Senate subcommittee consists of 15 Democrats, okay, and nine Republicans. How many combinations of chair, vice chair, secretary, and two committee members are possible? And they, we have some restri restrictions here. The chair must be a Democrat. Okay, well, there are 15 Democrats. Let's look at our chair first. So there are 15 different people we could pick for that job. Then the vice chair is next. And there are, the vice chair must be a Republican. Well, there are nine Republicans. So we have a uh, vice chair. And there are nine Republicans that we could pick. We're choosing one of them. So there's just nine to pick from. You could write this first thing is 15, choose one. It's just not necessary. And then nine, choose one. That does equal nine. And that does equal 15. So we're finding all different ways we can do this. So we're going to multiply them. Then for secretary, it could be from either party. Secretary. Okay. And there are, well, we picked one Democrat, one Republican. So there's 14 Democrats left and eight Republicans, but their orientation and party doesn't really matter. So 14 plus eight, there are 22 people left. And we used to pick one of them, right? And again, look how I wrote that. We don't need to do that. We can just say times 22. And that's coming from the fact that there are 22 people to choose from. We're choosing one. And now what's interesting here is that the final two people we're picking are committee members. So it would not be correct to say, yes, there are 22 people at this point. Then there are 21 left. You don't want, you don't want to multiply by 21 and then by 20. Because that would be counting all the different orders as different. And they're not. So, for example, let's say I pick Democrat number five and then Republican number uh, five. Um, I'm just imagining in my head out of the 15 Democrats, one of them is called Democrat five. Out of the nine Republicans, one of them is called Republican number five. Well, if I pick Democratic five and Republican five, if I multiply them, I'm counting all the orders and include them, it would, it would be saying that's different than Republican five and then Democrat five. Those would be counted as different things. But on a committee level, I mean, even if you don't know anything about politics, we just know they're called committee members. So the order in which you pick committee members doesn't matter. In the end, they're just committee members. So here, erase this. We don't care about order. We just care the different groups in which committee members are chosen. Like, who are they? Who's on the committee? So in that case, it's going to be all the people left, which is going to be, in this case, 21. And we're picking two of them. Right? First, there were 24. Then we chose a chair and a vice chair. Then there were 22. Then we chose a secretary. Now there's 21 left, and we're picking two of them. So now we just want to multiply these things. 15 times 9 times 22. Then that times uh, 21 choose 2, which is 21, 21 factorial over 2 and 19. Sorry, 19 factorial. And usually, I can't show you my calculator right now, sorry, but there usually is a shortcut in on every calculator for doing a combination, at least a graphing calculator, I should say. So here, that's going to get us, the product of all these gets us 6, 2, 3, 7, 100. So 623 different uh, subcommittees with these positions could be formed, even when order doesn't matter for those committee members. All right, I hope that helped.